Hi folks, we're back with our Chief Steamer 155 machine in 240 volt only. We're going to do a performance test with this, just a real life performance test to be honest and show that even at 240 we're going to drop a little bit of pressure. We're going to drop pressure, then it's going to hang in there, then we're going to let it recover. So again, this is the type of machine that if you can't handle any kind of pressure drop, then you got to probably go with diesel or three phase and we've talked about that. In other videos. So let's let's just blow some steam. Let's blow some steam. We have a camera trained on our pressure gauge. We're starting at 155. We're gonna let it drop a little bit and we'll see where we are and then we'll let it bounce back and you can just be the judge on your own how fast or slow you think this is. So let's just blow some steam. Now I stopped it. Now you, you saw that the machine hung in there really well. It dropped to like 125 and it held in really good at about 120, 125 as I was blowing steam at full blast. And then as soon as I clicked my finger off the trigger and I started talking to you again, it goes back the other way. And now if you notice, we're, we're back to recover. So in that short amount of time, and you guys can time this on the video and see how long that took. My calculations is it takes about 13 seconds to recover from 120 back to 155. So in any kind of time that you're washing a panel or two on the car and you stop the trigger, close the system, wipe up whatever you need, you're basically, you're basically ready to go again. So we're gonna drop, we're gonna drop. I just do this, you can see on our other camera, as I do this, the needle is gonna bounce. The needle's gonna bounce. The needle's gonna drop. I click the trigger. Steam wants to escape. It wants it. It wants its first way out, and it's traveling again through a 16 foot hose. That's why we're not making this hose 25, 26 feet because I think it's too far of a travel. So we're gonna bounce. The needle's gonna bounce down, and it's gonna bounce down to 125, 120, and it's gonna hang in there really, really well at about 125. As soon as you take your finger off the trigger, it's bouncing back. Like right now, it's recovered. It's ready to go at 155, and we're ready to go again. Take my finger off the trigger, and we're back to recovering. So it's, it's fast. If you need faster, you got to go to something else, but I'm hoping that you're going to be impressed with this.